All right, here we are. Third video in a series, third day in a row. This is going to be these three boxes right here. This green box, which I think might be from Amazon, but it's not labeled Amazon. And then these two down here, which I know are Goodwill. So let's get into it and see what we have. There's always a possibility this isn't even Lego, but it is. All right, so here we have the Avengers Truck Takedown, set 76143, three copies of this. And I don't see a packing slip in the box, so I'm just going to have to look. I think it came from Amazon, just I'm not familiar with them using a box with green labels that doesn't say Amazon on it. And the return slip didn't say Amazon, it was just really strange. I'm not sure where that came from. But they sent me Lego, and that's probably what I ordered. All right, so now we're going to open up two of the Goodwill boxes. Now, this one on top came very recently. The one on the bottom has been here a long time. Ironically, they have very similar packing here. So I'm just kind of curious if they're coming from the same uh, store. We'll see. This one... Well, it's not telling me readily which store it came from but in any case get this open here we've got this kind of like strange packing material and a lot of it that's okay we'll save this stuff all right there's the, the main thing we have something on this yep there's something on the side too all right so let's take this out oh it's very light and we'll take this out and this, and we'll probably put all that in this box when we're done. Ah, we're going to open up the bubble thing first. And of course, you know, if you've watched any of my videos, you probably know I like saving the bubble wrap when possible, but it's not always possible if you can't find where it started. But here we go. It seems to be right here. Let's see if I can get the tape off. I mean, it's coming off pretty good, but there we go. That's not too bad. We get more of it off here. All right. Now is it just a matter of unrolling it? It does look it. All right, and then from this direction we have to undo. All right, that came off. And then some unwrapping going this direction. All right, so we've got some totes. One red and one pink tote, and they look like they're empty. So there we go. We'll lid these here. It looks like there's a bunch of dust in this one. There we go. And now we've got this, like, mailer type thing. Yeah, we can just tear it off, it looks like. Well, maybe not. All right, we'll give it a little bit of a hand here. All right, so what we got in here is a whole bag of minifigures. Uh, it was a lot of some number of them and they came with these containers and that's what we bought so i guess maybe they're trying to use the minifigures to get rid of the containers like hey you, if you buy all these minifigures you're gonna have these containers too i don't know all right so now let's see what's in this one this is the one this is heavier than the last one and because that one wasn't that heavy at all i mean two empty containers and a bag of minifigures that's not that heavy at all but those containers made it particularly big. And why they didn't put figures in one of the containers, even though they nested them, there was still room inside one of them. Uh, I don't know. But they weren't, they didn't do that. Oh, we got our packing slip here. Let's see if I can tell if it's the same Goodwill, just because it doesn't seem to be. Just because they had a similar packing style and I'm seeing the same kind of stuff in there, which is kind of funny. I mean, maybe it was the same one. I'd have to double check. 
but this one's been here for quite some time i'm pretty sure let me see now the first one is there a date on it hmm yes uh well i paid for it on 614 let's see when i paid for the second one because that's the closest i have to an actual date is i guess on the slip when i paid for it and this one was paid for on 330 so it's uh been here uh, two months before i had a chance to get to it all right so what we have in here is several large bags of loose just a different way of packing it up i guess an interesting bag I it's this is like a bag you would use to send money to deposit from some store so they probably got this donated to them they're like we can use this that's kind of funny the deposit is said to contain lots of loose Lego that would be kind of funny if the bank actually got that all right so yeah more loose I can't complain about that and it's in these nice bags. oh look at this we got some plates here on the side that probably they didn't want to stick in the bags because they might tear through or something. Who knows? All right. So that is this particular haul. And I see there's some legs down here in this one. So maybe there's some minifigures. I don't know. I didn't see any, but who can tell these days? Who can tell? And that is going to be this particular haul. I got a bunch of cleanup to do, as you can see. And this is the third one in a row. And we're probably going to stop tonight recording any got one more I think we're going to do with these three boxes. This big one and those two small ones, which I believe is all bulk loose. And then we have this one back here, which is four boxes. But we're going to open all those up at the same time. But I may not get to that until after my vacation. So that little surprise will have to wait. Anyway, thank you very much for checking out the video. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thank you.